If you are getting ready for Halloween, perhaps you would want to know how to paint a spooky landscape. We'll use raw sienna and paint grey. I will start with raw sienna, add some water and we'll create an oval shape which will represent lights of an approaching car at the end of the road. First I make this oval and then I would like to dilute the edges of the oval by adding some water so there are no sharp line anywhere visible. You can turn this oval into two spheres as well. Do not paint those spheres of the lights precisely. Just give a hint that there is something that perhaps looking like a car in the end of the road. Once I'm done with uh, Rosiana, I can move on to the second color, and that would be paint gray. You could use black if you don't have paint gray, or you can use a dark brown. And uh, I will create a, a background with this color as well as mix this blue color with the yellow so there is no visible line. Please notice that I'm leaving a little border all around the painting. I'm not painting all the way till the end of the page. Once I'm done, I'll use a hairdryer to speed up my process and we'll make sure that all of this is really, really well dried. For the next step, you need to make sure it's dry. Now we'll continue with paint's gray color. And uh, by adding quite a lot of water into this dark color, I can create a light grade of paint's gray. I am marking the edges of the road first and with the same very lightly diluted uh, black color I'll start painting my first trees at the end of the road. As further as I'm going to progress in this painting the trees will become darker and darker and eventually they will be really black for the foreground. Let's make the trees to be as crooked as possible because we are creating a spooky landscape after all. So use your imagination, add nuts and broken branches so they all look uh, more scarier. This second row of trees I'm using lesser of water while diluting the color, but still it's not absolutely opaque. And you can see it already is starting to look like trees are disappearing in the far distance in the fog. This closer tree is almost absolutely black. Pay attention to your branches and make sure that there are no branches that are thicker than the actual trunk of a tree. Don't forget to add some roots of the trees to make it even more spookier. Here's another branch. I'm using a paper towel in order to remove extra paint from the brush and this way it looks like the textures on the paper are appearing if I'm using lesser water on the brush. Add as many details as you want. Here I'm adding another tree, very light and pale to give it a depth to the forest. And it's ready! You can add bats or even a howling wolf or perhaps you would play and make a little cartoon have a spooky halloween